In order to talk about keyframing audio, first we have to define what keyframing is. So keyframing tells Premiere to start doing one thing at a certain point and then stop doing that thing at another point. You can have multiple keyframes on video clips, audio clips, um, whatever, uh, but we're going to focus on using keyframing to fade audio in and out. So for instance, I have a edited clip here that I have our two interviews that we've been using. I have our music bed underneath it, and I have some B-roll clips at the top. So let's just play this and see what it looks like. Dogs tend to be a byproduct of the industry. They're like big couch potatoes. They... Okay, so I have this lull in here where I have this B-roll clip. I don't have any uh, interview speech going on during this. What I'd like to do is just kind of raise the music bed volume only for this section to kind of punch up the emotional impact that it's giving us. So, here's how we do it. Uh, we need to create keyframes for the uh, the fade in, or the fade up, I should say, and then we have to create two keyframes for the fade out. So let's look a little bit further down here on the music bed, and maybe, and let's add the keyframes to start the fade in about right here, where my cursor is, and it'll fade in to right here, and it'll keep that same audio level up until we get a little closer to the interview. I will put a keyframe there to tell Premiere to say, hey, from at this point, I want you to start fading the audio out, and then we'll give it an out point. So to create a keyframe, let's uh, zoom in on the timeline a little bit by hitting the plus icon. And let's start the keyframe somewhere around here, I guess. Uh, you need to have the rubber bands on. And in order to do that, you need to make sure that you have your clip height at enough. If I go further down, you can notice that the rubber band is no longer visible. I need to go up one or two. Now we can see the horizontal white line that's going across our um, our audio track. So to add a keyframe, I'm just going to hover my mouse over the um, over the rubber band. I'm going to hold the command button down, and you'll notice that our cursor changes to a white filled in cursor. I'm going to click once, and now you can see there is a little black dot, uh, which is our first keyframe. And I'm going to come over to the end of our interview. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold the command button down and hover my mouse over the rubber band, left click once, and now I have two keyframes. Now I can just physically move these keyframes around, and since I want it to fade up here, I'm just going to click on the first one, and I'm going to drag my audio clip down, and you can see that the horizontal rubber band starts to fade a little bit, and let's see what we have here if we preview it. Uh, the dogs tend to be a byproduct of the industry. Okay, pretty good. So let's move on down here and let's add the keyframes for our out points. So we'll start the keyframe uh, maybe right here. And so I'm going to hold command. I'm going to click once. Uh, I'll look over here. This We'll do it right here right when the B-roll goes away right there. And I'm going to fade my music down a little bit. And let's see what we have here. Uh, the dogs tend to be a byproduct of the industry. Okay, so it's looking good so far, but I want our, our audio bed to really punch up here. So I'm going to take this keyframe and I'm going to move it up. Let's move it up maybe uh, maybe four decibels or so. And I'm going to do the same thing for our other keyframe over here. Now let's listen. This tend to be a byproduct of the industry. They're like big couch potatoes. They. 